Hi, this is Rochelle with Journal Life's Journey and I am back to work on my fall journals. I'm gonna be adding the closures to them. I wasn't sure what type of closure I wanted to go with, if I wanted to just do a piece of fabric or ribbon wrapped around them or if I actually wanted to put the eyelets in and have a tie closure like that. I decided to go ahead and go with the eyelets. Normally I would have put that on before putting the journal together but we are at this point now so i'm just going to go ahead and put the eyelets in hopefully i won't mess anything up okay so i have all of these colors and styles and i'm thinking that the gold would probably be the best um but then i have these wide eyelets that are pretty cool too And let's see, I really like to use the wide eyelets. Maybe I can use the wide, this color on this one. Let me see if I can get two that are the same. Nope. Like that brushed, oops, brushed metal look. So I'm going to use that one on the one with the blue silvery hints in it. And then, I don't know, should I use the brown? No, I don't like that. I think I'm going to use this creamy color if I can get two of the same. Okay, so I think I'm going to use these two on the white pumpkin. Let's see what that looks like. I think that's okay. And then I wish I had some big gold ones, but I don't. But I have these reddish looking ones that I can use on the sunflower one that I think would be good. So I'm gonna use just a regular size on the sunflower ones. Okay, so no gold this time. I do need this out because I always have to read the directions to know how to set my eyelet setter. This is a We Are Memory Keepers eyelet setter. It also has the hole punches on it as well. So these are 3 16 eyelets. So that would be A1. Let's put this back with that. Make sure we got our eyelets setter set right. Okay, so it is set at A1. Now, let's find the center. I'm gonna start with this one. Okay, so I'm gonna find the center and mark it. So that's gonna go there. Do the other side. So there, okay. And I need the bigger hole, which is here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need my pokey tool. Let's see if I can line this up. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I did it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and punch the back one. Okay. So there we got our two holes. Let's go ahead and put the eyelet in, set that eyelet. Okay, that one is set. A scrap piece of paper on there. Let's do this one.
Okay, so that one is done. Let's do the next one. Find the centers. Okay, now let's do the eyelid setting. Okay. Let's do the other one. Okay, so that one is done. Let's move on to the next one. Center. Okay, and then that one is in. So we have all three with eyelets, different sizes, different styles, colors, whatever the case may be. And I think I'm gonna take these out because I can't think of anything that I want to do with them. Then maybe I can use those to add some goodies in to whoever gets these journals. Okay, now I need to find some ribbons that will work with it. I had this ribbon that I was playing around with that I think would actually work with all three. Um, let me see how I wanna do it. So I'm gonna go through and see what other ribbons I have and then I'll be back to add the closures. I have this sheer piece that I'm gonna use for the white pumpkins, I think. I don't know how long I need it to be. I think 30 inches for what I for how I'm going to add it will be good. So I'm doing 30 and 30 and then let's see. I'm going to put that in half. Feed it through. And then pull that tight. Let's do the other one. Probably a cream colored would work too. I'm just kind of low on other options. Okay. So then this one goes this way. And pull tight. 
then let's close it up okay so that one closure is done I have this yellow that I kind of considered for this one but I don't know let's see this is also um I don't know I think I'm gonna stick with the orange for these two if I have enough and I may not let's see how long is this piece it's a little longer than 30 so then this one ew I don't think I have enough I'm gonna use these two for the sunflower journal Let's see, this is a little bit of a tougher weight, heavier weight ribbon, so it's a little different to deal with. There we go. There we go. That's how that goes. Then let's do the other side. Let's put this tag back in there like that. And now we can just tie these together. Okay, so there's that one. Now, this one, I gotta find something for this one. Okay, so I went ahead and used a piece of regular seam binding. Uh, I didn't crinkle it or dye it or anything. I just used it the natural way that it came off the roll and I looped it on the same way that I did the other closures. So that is all of the closures. I may come back and add a bulb pin with a little charm or bead on. If I do, I'll come back and share that with you. But for now, that is it. That is how I added closures to my fall journals. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll holla at y'all next time. Bye.